Good evening, everybody. God bless you. Hope all is well. Uh, tonight, we're going to continue in the book of Acts. We are going to read chapter 16 and 17 this evening. Uh, let's open up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this time. Uh, the time you give us in your word, Father. I just pray you allow your Holy Spirit to open our hearts, our minds, allow us to hear what your words would, would teach us, Father. And I thank you so much for them. Thank you for all the work that you're doing all around the world and for everything falling into place, Father. And I just thank you and praise you for all that you are. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. <clears throat> like an opera singer, i got to clear my throat before, before I start to read. Then he came to Dupree. And Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a certain Jewish woman who believed, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brethren who were at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted to have him go on with him, and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in the region, for they all knew that his father was Greek, and as they went through the cities, they delivered to them the decrees to keep, <clears throat> which were determined by the apostles and elders at Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in number daily. Now when they had gone through Biagra in the region of Galatia, they found they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. After they had come to Mysia, they tried to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit did not permit them. So passing by Messiah, they came down to Tours, and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. Now after he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. Therefore, sailing from Taurus, we ran a straight course to Samothrace, and the next day came to Nepolis, and from there to Philippi, which is the foremost city of that part of Macedonia, a colony. And we were saying, <coughs> staying in that city for some days. And on the Sabbath day, we went out of the city to the riverside, where prayer was customarily made, and we sat down and spoke to the woman who met there. Now a certain woman named Lydia heard us. She was a seller of purple from the city of Thyatira, who worshiped God. The Lord opened her heart to heed the things spoken by Paul. And when she and her household were baptized, she begged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, Come to my house and stay. So she persuaded us. Now it happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl, possessed with a spirit of divine nation, met us, who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days. But Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, <coughs> Excuse me. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. But when her master saw that their hope of profit was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities. And they brought them to the magistrates and said, These men, being Jews, exceedingly trouble our city, and they teach customs which are not lawful for us, being Romans, to receive or observe. Then the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates tore off their clothes and commanded them to be beaten with rods. And when they had laid Many stripes on them, they threw them into prison, commanding the jailer to keep them securely. 
Having received such a charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awakening from sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and ran in. And fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Then they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Excuse me, my apologies. <clears throat> and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. And immediately he and all his family were baptized. Now when they had brought them into his house, he set food before them, and he rejoiced, having believed in God with all his household. And when it was day, the magistrates sent the officers, saying, Let those men go. So the keeper of the prison reported these words to Paul, saying, The magistrates have sent to let you go. Now therefore depart and go in peace. But Paul said to them, They have beaten us openly, uncondemned Romans, and have thrown us into prison. And now, do they put us out secretly? No, indeed. Let them come themselves and get us out. And the officers told these words to the magistrates, and they were afraid when they heard that they were Romans. Then they came and pleaded with them and brought them out and asked them to depart from the city. So when they went out of the prison and entered the house of Lydia, and when they had seen the brethren, they encouraged them and departed. All right, that's uh, chapter 16. We're not going to read 17 tonight. Um, but God bless y'all. If you have any prayer requests, please leave a comment, and I will definitely pray for you. And if you need a Bible, leave a comment, and I will reach out to you and get you a Bible. Um, also, if you are looking for a church, which I would recommend if you're not in a church, to look for a remnant church around your area. And, and a good way to find a good remnant church is to go to Rock Harbor um, from Bakersfield, California app or their website. And they've got a church finder app on there that you can browse through pretty much all across America. And in, in every state, there's, there's different... Um, locations with churches that have been found that are remnant churches that read, teach, and preach right out of the Bible. Um, that's what we need when we're trying to draw near to God. And so I would encourage you to do that. I encourage you to pick up the Bible and, and read it because there's power in the Word of God and, and God gave it here for us. So God bless you all. Have a great evening.